What's going on, y'all, man? Back at it again. It's your boy, Bezo with Wills. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all. Um, y'all see it, man. Let's dive right into it. We got this tow truck right here, man. It's going to complete color change. It's going black. We're going to whip. The wheels is going black as well. Um, this bad boy is uh, beyond late. Uh, talked to the owner. He was fine with it. He was like, hey, man, nature. I so that gave me a relief. Uh, <clears throat> other than that, I just got to mask up the bumper, grill, uh, wheel wells. Other than that, this should go fairly smooth. I need to get that power stroke symbol. Um, other than that, I was sanding on it last night. And, oh, speaking of sanding, oh, my God, boy, this this air compressor is a monster. Why didn't nobody tell me it made a world of a difference, man? Oh, my God. For the ones that don't know, where I didn't see my last video, this was actually not even running. I didn't even have it hooked up. It sat in that corner for like three months because I was supposed to have an electrician come out here. Uh, I had a few cats come out here and look at it. And it was like, yeah, quoted me. I was like, mm, can't afford it. Sorry. So I kind of just did it myself. I, I didn't realize until this 10-day uh, power outage because of the storm that it had the, the same exact three plug, the three prong as a dryer. So I'm like, okay, all we need is the cable. So I, you know, uh, spliced the cable, not spliced it, but I wired it up, had it run about a foot deep all the way to the side door to the washer and dryer room. Plugged it right in, came out here, popped that switch. Oh my God. Let it try it. Man, that thing's so much more quiet. I ain't got to yell. I ain't got to scream. I ain't got none of that. Versus. Versus. Hold on, let this sit. Ooh, fancy. What? Stop it. Versus this. It's way louder at night. And it got a mute on it and everything. It's what? Because it used to sit right here. And that would pump, that would stay on the whole entire paint process. I don't care. It would stay on all night. It was so funny, man, because when I hooked it up, I just ran in the house like, let's go. Let's go. Nigga was lit. I was so excited. I went in there and told my fiance, like, babe, you know that big air compressor in the corner? I got it hooked up. She was like, what? I was like, oh, my God. Like, you got to get with the program, man. I told her I got it hooked up. She's like, I thought it was hooked up already. No, it was not, Tuh. but man, yeah, so she'll notice a big difference tonight because um, I ain't going to be that loud ass little one. So, all right, all right, man, let's dive right into it right now. Bear with me, y'all. I'm speaking for the beginners. I'm speaking for the ones that are interested, maybe interested in having their own body shop in the backyard or just even interested in general. I got to pull a vehicle in there and say I ain't had to do no body work, no none of this. I got it masked up, ready to spray. Let's get it. The floor is like this. Look how filthy it all is right now. First thing you want to do is wet the floor, then blow everything down, then blow the vehicle down, then blow all the dust off the tables and shelves and, and the curtains or whatever. Because if the floor is dry, you're just shuffling the air around. You're just shuffling the overspray, the dirt and debris around. But if the floor is wet, it all is going to fall. It's going to land on the water and it's not going to be able to get back up. So wet the whole floor, blow everything down so that whenever it does settle, it'll stick to the water. Once it sticks, I would say wait about five minutes. Don't let the floor dry up. Squeegee it all out. You're pushing all that dirt and dust and debris out of the garage. Then re I would repeat that process two more times. If you want to be safe, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I remember the last black vehicle that I did when I painted it black. I only did it once. It was so much trash in it that I had to redo it. I don't know if y'all saw that black Mustang that I painted. It was red to black. Um, then I was like, okay, it's so much trash. I really got to re-clear it. So I did the process twice. I suited up. And as soon as I was done with the paint job, I left the garage. And it was 10 times better. I, I really didn't even need to wet sand and buff it. Um, so, yeah, other than that, uh, prep work is everything. Prep work as far as tape is everything. But prep work as far as making sure your area is clean is the number one. I promise you, you do not want rework. I hate rework. I swear I hate rework. Oh, my God. So um, that's the first thing we're going to do is just get it all cleaned out, get it all blown down. Uh, like I said, keep the floor wet before you start to blow all this sand and dust down. Wet the floor, then blow everything down. All right, so the floor is wet, garage is closed. About to go ahead and just start blowing this crap down. Damn! All right, hold on. I really want to get that fan on. I really want to do Hopefully it's plugged in. I highly doubt it, though. 
Oh, shoot. Window ain't open. Look at God. I thought I was going to have to fight trying to plug this bad boy in. I didn't buy this. This actually came with this, well, with the house. It was already here. I guess the owner uh, had like a wood shop out here. So yeah, anyways. All right, man, so I got my finished one right here. What I actually did, I had some self etching primer. I thought I could get away with it, but nah, I'd just rather go ahead and just hit it with the paint gun. Uh, self etching primer. I hit a few spots with some green primer, some gray primer, uh, just to see what would cover really good. Uh, I just, well, really, I was just messing around. I had some stuff, thoughts in my head. I was like, man, let me see if I can figure something out. So, uh, disregard the color scheme. Anyways, uh, I actually got the black primer, uh, the Capsi. 2k filler um not the best brand uh this is actually just one of those hey i just want to throw some paint on here it doesn't have to be perfect type job so um other than that i got some finished one what i'm gonna do is just uh you know spot prime it really good i'm gonna go ahead and prime the whole thing because it's just so many nicks and i know i normally don't have to i could get away with just painting it but i don't mind having more gun time so uh and i need the gun time uh, work on some technique and stuff, but, uh, I actually got the black primer. That'll, that'll help as far as the black paint as well, because it's a tow truck, it's going to get beat up. So I want to at least make sure the durability is there. So having black primer instead of gray primer, black primer, black paint, clear it, uh, and go from there. But I'm going to go ahead and hit these heavy spots, like the hood, like I'm going to spot prime the whole thing, uh, well spot prime all the areas. So I'm probably do two or three coats of the areas that I've sanded like that, um, the door, just some big spots, and then um, go ahead and shoot one thick uh, coat of primer, the black primer on there. Uh, he wasn't really too worried. He was just kind of just do a little skim coat. He wasn't worried about that. Uh, I got some Rust-Oleum spray on my tag on there in a little bit, try and prevent that rust and stuff. So um, other than that, uh, this should be straight, pretty, pretty straightforward. So um, y'all stay tuned, man. We about to make it happen. Let's get it. So I did not want to have to use this for my primer gun. Uh, I don't even like putting primer through it. Um, I have my AccuSpray, but I don't even think this tip is even clean. Well, it might. Oh, I might have cleaned it out. I don't know. We'll try. Ooh, no, nah, I heard that. Um, got a little spider web on it. It's a little dusty. It's been a while. Uh, I, I forgot to get another tip, so... I don't know. I might just go ahead and try this and see how it sprays. It should be fine, though. This is a 1.4 tip. I do not want to have to use that one. So, uh, yeah, we're about to find out. Uh, the AccuSpray. Uh, see how this bad boy spray. All right. Throw a little lacquer thinner in there. Try and get it off. Lucky, might not have to use the big daddy. Make sure we ain't got no leak in nowhere. Cause boy, I hate you ever had you ever been painting a car and that mug get to leaking and dripping on the hood. Oh my god, boy. Yeah, let's see how the pattern is.
bad, man. We're gonna go ahead and stick with it. Coming out pretty decent. armor on the tires man this is about the third time i did it works great uh whatever overspray or whatever gets on there it just wipes right off so it just sits on there like a protective coating so and then uh it's a few other things i really couldn't do just because crunch time man we this thing has been in here literally three weeks the other side looks just like this i spot primed it that way it just kind of when i do that one thick coat it should just be fairly even and then boom so let's get it man um yeah if i would have known it was gonna be that hard and rough and took that long man i probably would have just not of you know from the whole thing this was this was uh this was a damn job i don't know why and it doesn't seem like it would be um a few areas it's light that's why it's primer man it's, it'd be all right uh right over there um other than that Laid down fairly good after I used my DeVelvis. I didn't want to use that DV1 for nothing, man. That's just, uh, I just didn't want to do it. But I had to get the job done. Uh, getting ready to paint it now. Laid down really good. I actually like the, the matte. Ugh, I actually like how it looks. Eggshell, matte, whatever you want to call it. Um, Yeah, like I said, laid down pretty good. So um, yeah, I just got to gloss this bad boy up. Uh, paint it, paint it, then clear it, and then we should be good to go. It's still, still drying. It's only been about ten minutes since I've got off, gotten off of it. Um, but I will keep you guys posted, man. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, getting ready to be painting pretty soon, so.
man this shit overall uh it came out pretty damn good it laid down pretty flat um few hiccups here and there nothing major uh it's my first tow truck man I, i'm excited i definitely appreciate the opportunity um that he gave me as far as painting the tow truck uh, still on crunch time man i don't think i'm gonna be able to record the actual process at a clear coat i might just set up the camera on one side but i might just just spray all the way through uh to give you an idea um and it, and it sucks because i'm i got a gallon of clear but i'm just i'm real concerned on it uh just on how much i need so because like i said i only got exactly a gallon i gotta make it stretch so gotta make it do what it do um other than that i feel like it came out pretty good that black on black set it off single stage paint so getting ready to go ahead and put the clear on top of it let's get all right y'all um i don't know if y'all can hear that humming in the background just listen for a split second yeah that's somebody's generator because our power is out again i do not know why i don't know what is going on i don't know i, I don't know anything um the last time the power went out during the last video um they couldn't even explain it. Like, yeah, we're going to have somebody come out here. It's not just my house when the power goes out. It's the whole entire block. Um, got our generator back out the third time. Uh, and it's, it's, it's getting very annoying, man. I'm so blessed. I'm so glad that I actually finished the job last night without the power cutting out. So, I man, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. I haven't looked at it. Y'all seen it first. So, that way, yeah, I'm not hiding my mistakes. Hold on. All right. Alright, so can't see, but oh, okay, okay. Power is out, like I said. So, really can't see it fully. Little bit of trash, but damn, this thing came out actually really, really damn good. I don't know. Like I said, it's a little bit of trash, but damn, damn I'm damn near him super impressed like it came out really good because black black shows everything like yo i mean it literally uh, okay okay i see like a like something i mean I, you have to be nitpicking like th this is not bad at all this is not even bad what am i talking about it laid down pretty damn good now i'm I, now i know what a eight thousand dollar paint job looks like but this is this is damn good you know, I, I had to, I had to rush. I had to rush. It's just he's got to make his money. I got to make my money. Now, if he was like, "Hey, I want this truck to be a one," it, it would have, you know, what I'm saying, obviously, it would have been a lot better than what it is. But damn, like I'm, I'm really impressed. But it came out really damn good, yes, sir. Not too bad, not too shabby, neighbor. Make sure we get in there really good. Okay, cool. Yeah, this thing, this thing actually laid down really good. A lot better than what I was expecting because, like I said, I couldn't take my time on sanding. I had to, like, buzz over the whole thing just so we could get it out of here. Um, it was really, really, really on crunch time. I mean, like, checking on me every day. And I completely understand, man. This is part of his job. I'm sure he's got a family and stuff like that. So... <laughs> Another satisfied customer, man. That thing came out sharp, mean, 